Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the introduction to Blackboard. You have to remember that each instructor is going to set up their um, Blackboard course differently, but a few tips here. Um, basically on the left hand side there are several bubbles or labels and so what you want to do is definitely spend time um, in each new course that you're enrolled in checking out the different sections and what material the instructors um, put in each section. We're actually going to start with the Start Here tab. And this is actually just a few things that um, you'll need to do um, before you start in this class. So um, listening to this um, video lecture, checking out two other video lectures on how to improve your email account, um, which has some really help, and how to use a USB flash drive. And finally, taking um, a quick um, survey just so that I can have a sense of your experience and your access to technology. Okay, so in the different tabs here you can see um, this course is actually divided week by week. So if you click into the week by week tab um, and then click into week one, you can see these are the readings. By clicking into that folder you have access to a couple of different readings online. You can either click the back arrow or um, click back to week by week. Um, you can also see actually some of these um, sometimes in a week there may be an assignment due. So by clicking on the assignments tab um, you can gather information on kind of what you need to do that week. Um, the assignments for this class are all to be done electronically through Blackboard. And I'll actually illustrate um, how that's actually done. Okay, so by clicking into the assignment tab, you can actually click on the actual, um, this is a resume and cover letter assignment that's due. Click on the view and complete assignment. You might just want to type in your name here. And what you need to do is actually attach the file that you're submitting. So I'm actually going to go ahead and find my resume. And I can add, click add another file. And then I'm actually also going to attach my cover letter. And click add another file. When I hit submit, it means it's been in, it's submitted to the instructor um, and will be ready for grading. When I hit save, it's just saving it um, for later submission. Just be cautious if you use that tab that you then submit it on time. So by clicking the submit, the assignment has been updated and has been submitted. Okay. Um, one other thing that we're also doing in this class is actually you are going to, in the Start Here button, be doing an actual kind of technology quiz, as I mentioned. By clicking on that, you can actually just see um, that a survey just comes up. Um, and you could just scroll through, answer the questions as you see. Um, applicable to you um, and just go ahead and scroll all the way through. There's a couple that actually have some short answers. Again, this is just helpful information we're just trying to gather about your um, experience and access to technology. Just scroll down after answering all the questions and hit submit. Um, it's actually noting here that I didn't complete them all. Hopefully um, you have and you can just click OK and the assessment has been completed. Okay, a few other things I just want to focus on in here. Um, the course syllabus is listed here. This is helpful to um, access this. If there's a file that you're wanting to access, um, one helpful thing is kind of opening it in a new window by right clicking it. This is just going to take a minute to pull up. And this has pulled up the Word document with the syllabus in it. You can actually print this, save this to your computer, whatever you find most helpful. So again, just by right clicking it and opening it in a new window is a helpful way um, to open some of the files. Um, the Assignments tab just illustrates the assignments that are due and kind of the policies on submitting assignments. Um, extra credit is a good place to, to get some extra credit points. Um, group projects is actually currently empty, but once you guys complete your group projects later in the semester, we're going to post those up. Um, I do want to spend a little bit of time on the communication tab. 
you guys are actually going to be um, in this course having a lot of the discuss a lot of um, discussion outside of class using what's called the discussion board. So under the communication tab and clicking on discussion board, you can see here I've created actually several what are called forums. Um, if you just kind of scroll down, there's a couple different things that are posted here. Um, one of your, two of your assignments are actually going to be, um, you're going to be graded on your um, postings in this class. So it is really important that you get in here at least once a week or every, every other week um, to really have a thoughtful um, discussion um, and um, posting, um, including um, discussing either notes made in the readings, in the lectures, in what you've done in terms of your outside work on a project. Um, it's really helpful that those all be tied there. By doing that you're going to do better on, on those two assignments. So I'm going to actually just click into the introductions tab and I've actually already posted something here but by creating a thread basically I'm creating a new message and you can just kind of say about me or however you want to start and just saying a little something about yourself uh, maybe where you're from and your interests and perhaps something that you hope to gain from this class okay and by submitting that it's actually going to post, um, you can see here, um, the subject, the author, that it was published, and um, one thing a lot of students do is once they're in there, maybe checking out somebody else's post, they like to reply. So say you recognize me from another class, you can just click reply and say, oops. I think I had you last semester in class. Good to see you again. Um, and it actually is posting a previous message there. When you guys are in here, you might notice um, up on the top there's this button called subscribe. When you actually click on that, what it means is that when a person replies to your posting, you're going to get an email in your um, UMBC inbox. And so for some students, they find that helpful to know when somebody may have replied um, to their posting so they know to go in and check Blackboard. However, that's helpful if somebody replies to your message. Um, it is not helpful if somebody just kind of posts something new. You're not going to get notice of that. So I do encourage you guys to get in here a couple times a week just to check to see what people have posted and have some discussion um, with your peers in there. One other feature that is in um, the Blackboard is the Tools tab. And by clicking into that, a lot of students um, like to actually access their grades. Um, I'll click on it, but because I'm the instructor, I am not able to access it. By clicking on My Grades, you should actually see some sort of spreadsheet um, with um, the grade, um, what you received for it. Um, if you see an exclamation point, that means you've submitted the assignment, but it hasn't been graded by me yet. Um, so a good way for students to confirm that their assignments have been re received by the instructor is to go into the My Grades and just see that there's an exclamation point, maybe by um, cover letter and resume, so that you know that you submitted it, but um, hasn't received a grade yet. Okay, I think this sums up this tutorial. Um, just so you guys know, you don't have access to kind of what's listed below here, meaning the control panel. That's the instructor has access to that. But other than that, your screen should look very much like this. Thank you so much and have a good day.